I'm Thomas Dill. Uh, I farm here in Kirkcoban, County Down, uh, with in partnership with my parents and my brother. Uh, we're currently milking uh, just shy of 600 cows on farm, uh, with uh, all young stock that are kept for replacements. Um, we operate a high input, high output system, and cows are housed 365 days a year. Several years ago, we were involved in an AFBI project uh, involving uh, low protein. And it was just one of those things that I suppose uh, at the time we were just looking maybe trying something different. And I'd sort of heard a few good reports about it. And it's just something we're quite interested in at the time. We, we run like uh, two different batches and we're looking sort of what we'd been doing before and then a low protein batch. So uh, basically we were re restricting the protein in that first period uh, and then just slowly ramping the cows up then afterwards. What we probably seen initially were cows were a wee bit slower to peak. Uh, they didn't maybe peak just as quickly, but what we found was later in lactation, they continued milking on and we didn't get a sudden drop off. Uh, so what we maybe lost initially were more than gained it in later lactation cows. Uh, it actually worked very well with us as well because we're three times a day milking here on the farm and we would tend to find with milking those low yielding cows three times, uh, we were getting the, the lactation was extended and more milk was, was being produced. Looking at the way prices have gone, etc., we're always looking, at, you know, homegrown forages are the cheapest. Uh, we have, over the past few years, we've increased our maize acreage. Uh, and I said we try to you know, grow a, a lot of forage maize, uh, again, for, for starch uh, value. Uh, we also uh, have started growing lucerne. Uh, and again, we've found that that has re reduced the amount of bought-in protein that we need on, on farm here. So, and also in our, our silage operation, again, trying to make as good high quality forages as we can to sort of reduce the amount of bought-in concentrates. On the farm here, uh, our, our ground were quite early and we can actually get away with uh, making four to five cuts of silage per year. Uh, first couple normally start uh, any time sort of end of April, start of May, and then we're consistently cutting about every sort of five or six weeks after that. Uh, again, uh, that, that 